Hey, True Believers England team here, and I'm with the real Dr. Venkman. And we're going to re we're going to review a couple of comic books, but the the main event. Yeah, you know, who am I kidding? I'm going to be splitting these up into different videos, so I'm not going to announce it by that. But I'm not cutting this part out. So there. All right. The main event, though, we're going to do first. Let's do this one, and it has to be Rorschach. All right. Yeah. Did you read this or did you buy it? I had a digital copy. Yeah, you, you, you had a digital copy. Okay. So I went with this cover. Why? Because it's the best cover out there. I'm not joking. The one yeah, that looks like it's, <laughs> like it's uh, pre-water stained. This is the best cover for Rorschach. But do you know what? This is also the most accurate cover for what you're going to get on the inside. Are Basically, sure? nothing. Nothing with a beige color on the thing, making it just vanilla and boring with a water stain representing the fact that your comic book is ruined. That's what you're going to get by buying Rorschach number one. But let's see what we think about the book. Well, I'll just say this. Accurate. It looks like you found it next to a dumpster outside and it got rained on. So, uh, yeah, that is, it, it is accurate because that's where Tom King belongs. Hey. Okay, first of all, this was a uh, this was a five dollar book. Thank goodness. Um, the sad I, thing I, about the sad thing about this is um, when when I read a bad comic, I think about sometimes the money and I. What else could I have gotten for five dollars? I could have gotten a six pack of orange vanilla Coke. I love I love orange vanilla Coke. That would have been awesome. I would rather have that that six pack. Ooh, if it was buy one get one free, that that that's two. Right, or I could have taken the money <laughs> I bought for this crap, and and I could have gotten a good pork dinner at the uh, local uh, the, the local Puerto Rican restaurant. <laughs> Anything, um, right, right? Okay, so I, I think I think we should start with the positives. The staples are tight. That's good. Okay, so now let's get to the negatives about the book. Actually, if there is one thing I've got to say that's kind about the book is that I really I thought the art was fine. Uh, whenever I whenever I see any kind of Watchmen book, I think okay the the art needs to kind of match up. It needs to this this should come from the same universe, and I think mm -hmm. they really do they they really do kind of nail that. They they really do get that. There is but, a panel. I was going to say, there is, a, there is a section out there towards the very end. I think it's like page 25 or something like that. Or, or the guys, you see the guy just in there, the, the artist, whatever, he's just in the upper corner, right corner, and he's like, nothing. A lot of uh, pictures, wor word, lots of words, and nothing. I was, I was like, so you're describing what you write every day yeah, in your book? I mean, the book, Tom. <laughs> yeah, this is Tom King. And every every so often i really want to like to, I, you know i remember he did some good stuff once a long time ago we were singing his praises that swamp thing winter special is one of the best stories i'm ever going to read i understand this it's an amazing story this man can write and yet he seems to have forgotten how over and over and over again so just to go through it a little bit the book opens with Rorschach being shot. Okay, now I remember Rorschach being completely evaporated, so I'm assuming um, yeah. that this guy is new Rorschach that we saw in Doomsday Clock. I assume uh, that's the reader getting shot. <laughs> I know, right? And then they pull back and we see that they're at some sort of election. Now, at first they they start doing this little mystery like what was Rorschach doing and why was he going to assassinate no he wasn't going to assassinate anybody as a matter of fact she's the the woman there has the gun near her so that that is not a mystery to be told or solved immediately after this and by the way I love this shot this is a really good panel the art really is good in this book but um immediately after oh by the way have you ever been reading the comic and you come across the Snickers ad and you actually start reading it like it's part of the book? I, I do that way too many times. And it's like, oh, shoot, it's the Snickers ad. Okay. I will um, point out, though, uh, this book, you know, when it first starts off, I thought he was going to go political. I'm like, because look at the, the, uh, the guy ready for election is Turley. Yeah. 
So I'm like, is this doing a 2016 reference to Trump with his family and to know, stand behind him, his group stuff? Or is this just a random thing? But what threw me off is like, I'll ask you one question. You're reading this book. When did it take place? I honestly don't know. There's some sort. I mean, if you look at his, if you look at this guy's hairstyle, you would assume it's in the 1970s. And, 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 the with what, the sideburns. And, but later in the in the book, I believe he's holding a pager, which was complete 1990s. And um, what is his name? There, I don't remember. <laughs> they never there, said his there name. Are, there's dark. There's panels like this that look like Snyder. Um, Snyder colored it. And I think that's to denote that this is a different time frame, but there's nothing around that says, oh, that's a different timing. Oh, look, hey, this is this is uh, 1980. Oh, no, but this is 1990. You know it. So you're reading it. And, and the thing is, it's on the same page as modern time. Yeah, I got so, lost. So you're supposed to think, you know, okay, but if if you don't know that's what they're doing, you're reading it and you're like, this is fucking making no sense. It really was, yeah, yeah. There it, is no, there's no timestamp. There's no flashback. At least put a date on there so I fall, so I know where I'm going. As far as as far as I know, it's all the same present time. And then I then towards the end, I think like, oh wait, it's 2000 freaking 20. In the original Watchmen, the beige parts, the uh, the what, what is this uh, sepia tone? Yeah. That I believe was in the past. So, but now what is it's in the it's in the present? Which would that mean it was in the past? So it's the 60s. Ah. Uh, let us know, know what you freaking mean, Tom. It's a ridiculous. It's a ridiculous way to write a book. Um, it there's nothing to this. It's a bunch. It really is a bunch of talking heads. Uh, Rorschach isn't in it. I'm sorry, but he's not. Um, I I did not care I, if you haven't noticed by even the beginning. Oh, and then there's the um, and then there's this scene right here. The only decent scene in the book was. Uh, them knocking, but then you're like, okay, so why is Rorschach killing cops? I didn't even know it was Rorschach at first, because, I, because I'm like, the the whole thing is just all over the board. We got a we got a guy apparently find out he's a cop, um, uh, but we don't know his name. We don't know if this is like a these are all the flashbacks or if it's if it's you know what time period it's supposed to be because we got pagers, we got the old uh, uh, reel tapes. You know, mm -hmm. like they used to use, you know, recording stuff back in the 70s. And uh, it just throws you off because because I'm like, okay, obviously uh, there must be something going on that Tom could have done. And I'll tell you what it is. Tom could have told me who the cops stand because right now I'm not intrigued by anything. I don't start looking to the next issue. I know there's there's no there's character. Nothing. There's no character in this because even the guy we're, we're following – doesn't have any character, and he's more about the mystery than himself. So there's literally no one to latch on to. You don't even see Rorschach and Rorschach form until it's the middle of the book, and then we see him murdering cops. Why is he murdering cops? Please tell me this. And but that's the whole thing. Yeah. This is a whole lot of stuff that's happening to people you don't care about because it spends no time with anybody. It, I have, I, I've watched and I've read a lot of shows. I've, I've, I've watched a lot of books that I'm like, okay, you know what? This is a near miss, but I'm going to tell you this. This this wasn't yeah. a near miss. It's an absolute miss. This is a <laughs> – It's a book about Rorschach, but Rorschach's hardly in it. And then we find out that the guy who's wearing the knockoff Halloween mask was supposed to be Rorschach? The, the guy shot in the face? The I was so freaking old. lost, man. He's eight years old. The dude was born in 1942 or 46 or something like that. There's no way <laughs> – you're telling me that's eight-year-old Rorschach laying Which on the table would there. Make you assume that he is the. Uh, so then, who's 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 Rorschach? Is it the cop that's investigating the murder? Like, is there? Are we getting a whole new Rorschach? Please tell me, Tom. Don't just be like, "Hey, we have a book called Rorschach, and it has nothing yeah. to do with Rorschach." You kill him that's off. That's the thing. If this is supposed to set up a mystery, if this is supposed to be like. Uh, well, well, you know what? I want you to be intrigued, and you're going to get issue two where I'm explaining it all. No, you have to give nuggets of story. You have to give nuggets of the whole thing for us to want to continue. In all honesty, this guy, I don't know how many issues this is supposed to be in, yeah. but he just saved me that money. 
I will the, not. Yeah, I will not be picking up issue number. There two. should have been a setup page for people who don't even know who the character is. The new readers. Brief it's, little thing. All you need is I'll say it's Rorschach, part of the watch band. There you go. The first top panel right there, and then boom, go to the story. Yeah, I, I will not be picking up Rorschach number two. This is this is a piece of crap. Well, I'll um, say you got the better cover because the other one we couldn't tell if it was supposed to be from the seventies or eighties <laughs> or nineties. Well, like I said, I, I I looked at him and I thought, <laughs> oh, okay, because it's kind. I guess this is supposed to be a Rorschach of some sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so. it looks like somebody pissed on the book. Wasn't me. <laughs> it's <laughs> a case profile. Later. That's what it looks yeah. like. Um, I guess that's supposed to be the vanilla envelope. Yeah, the, with, the more the coffee stain. Yeah, right. But uh, <laughs> I actually did think that was the better cover. But yeah, that's a. Look, I, the bad thing is, is the art is actually pretty good, and it's stuck in that. Well, part. yeah, it's it's Tom King that ruins it. It really Just is. Like Tom King does. Tom King, Tom King messed up again. I'm waiting for Tom King to return. And to the him. subtle name drop of Frank Mother, uh, Frank Miller. Frank uh, Miller. Like, yeah, it was in there. Appearing the people who were trying to contact the spirits and the dead. And he's like, oh, my grandmother, she passed on some time ago. I want to talk to her. The audio, because that's why the guy's driving. I'm thinking, how is he listening to it? Is that supposed to be like a, he's got the big giant machine behind him in the car? I know Possibly. that's what they're saying. I'm like, wait a sec. Did you did you put a tape machine in your car? What is how? What? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't care. I I am officially. You know what? Like the uh, like the Vegas guys. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not returning to that particular table. Uh, I'm I'm lying because there's going to be a Marvel versus DC where I'll have it. Guess what? It's going to be if I if if, if I'm re grading this, I've got to say this is a one. This is a really? one star book. This, well, no, the art. The art's going to get oh, yeah. up. Yeah. The See, art. I got to ask you, does your scoring ever go into the negatives? Because this feels like it's a negative <laughs> four. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, one or two. I, I don't know where I'm going to settle on. But like, holy, if a book holy, if a book know. gets down to like zero for me, I feel like I should be being reversed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's bad, and I I recommend people stay away from it. What about yeah? I and you're in the negatives, huh? I, the, I said the art is okay, but like I said, the whole freaking story. Um, me coming in, I have never. I only know Rorschach from the Watch movie, so I'm a first time reader going into okay. this. So I'm like, okay, I made a great introduction and or something like this, or a little thing, nothing. And then we find out, okay, we don't even know who this character is. The cop is at first, we don't even know he's a cop. And all we know is he's apparently talking to a security guard that got word. Somebody called in a, a call saying that someone's going to shoot somebody, the president, or whatever it was. So me coming into this, I was like, okay, okay, what's going on? Let's go, let's get go through. And I was like, man, I, is this Bendis or Tom King? I don't know who's writing it first because it just felt like there's a lot of needless stuff in there. It shouldn't have been in there. Where's the A to B? I felt like we, we got lost and somehow ended up on C. You know, and, I, and, and I'm upset. If if, that, if you're telling me the guy on the slab on the, on the morgue is the, is the Rorschach and he's dead, I bought it for him. Not I didn't buy it for some guy. It's yeah. like I want Batman two point No, I want Bruce Wayne, man. Yeah, and you're not, yeah. you don't even tell me that Bruce Wayne's dying in the first issue of Batman. What? <laughs> it's like no, no. I bought it because Rorschach is like Batman as a far detective mode all the time. He's a little it's he's a little violent, you know, but. Hey, it's like having a year one Batman Rorschach. That's what I think of when I think of him. Yeah, it's, maybe I'm wrong. It, it's it's a bad book. That oh, there, it, it's it's an awful book. There's just no getting around it. And um, I, I I can't even sugarcoat it. That will still make it a bad book. Yeah. So my recommendation. Okay, so, so save your money. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. So there you go, gang. That's our opinion on 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 the book Rorschach number one by Tom King and Jorge. What is his name? Jorge Forbes. I don't see. Sanchez. I don't know. I uh, Jorge, uh, <laughs> Jorge Fornes, right there. All righty, um, Jorge. We're sorry you're doing great art in a bad book. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you haven't done it already. Making sure also you're clicking on one of the videos that are popping up around us here. I'd like to thank everybody who's uh, helped out the channel financially. All you need to do to do so is uh, go to Patreon or Ko-Fi. And uh, to everyone, all the true believers, I say thank you very, very much for watching.